to start this amazing week with an amazing time. And so have fun with us, dance along, and let's worship. I was lost with a broken heart. You picked me up, now I'm set apart. From the ash I am born again. Forever safe in the Savior's hands You are more than my words can say I'll follow you, Lord, for all my days I'll fix my eyes, follow in your ways Forever free in unending grace Because you are, you are, you are my freedom We lift you higher, we lift you higher Thank you. While Marit gets back, can you guys explain to me how she was able to describe the candy? Because I think I know why. She remembered because she had had them before. She remembered the taste, the texture, and just how good they were. Because she had memories of them. And this actually reminds me of when I was in high school. Now, at the end of the year, just like every other year, we take this big test. And the test covers everything that we've learned. 
So it's a very stressful time because I know that I really have to study. But when it comes to studying, I know that my pencils are not going to help. My pretty markers and highlighters are not going to help. My notebook might help, but what I do know that's going to help is my folder. Now I have it here today, so I can show you. This is my, my folder, and as you can see, it has a lot of papers. And that's why folders are so handy, because when you're studying, you can go back, look at your quizzes, assignments, homework, projects, and you can start to remember these. Like for me, I remember the formulas, the strategies, the steps I needed to take to, to solve a certain problem. But do you guys know something amazing? We have a similar folder in our brain. But this folder does not contain schoolwork. This folder contains all the memories we have about God and His goodness. You know, as life goes on, life gets a little bit more complicated. Your friends might not understand why you believe in God, and your teachers might even say He's just a fairy tale. But it's not true. And in those moments, you have to go back into that memory folder and remember that God has always been faithful to you and to your family. Now, there's this one man in the Bible who understood this very well. His name is Joshua. In Joshua 24, 1 through 15, he explains to God's people that God has always been faithful. He tells them about the slaves and how he used Moses to free the slaves in Egypt. And then he tells them that while they were in the desert, he saved them from other nations. And then he gave them the promised land. So, in difficult situations, you really need to go back to that folder and remember that God has blessed you. God is faithful. Because I know that sometimes it's hard to trust Him when you're like, well, I, I don't hear Him and I don't see Him answer me. But God is always with you. So, let's recap. You have a, mem you have a memory folder in your brain. And in difficult situations, you must remember, God is always faithful and He's good to His people. 